everyone, my name is Elizabeth aka Marine Mumbles and I run a YouTube channel full of weird and wonderful marine creatures and especially rock pooling which is what I am doing today. So for the next 10 minutes I am gonna safely scramble around this rocky shore and try and find as many species as we can in less than 10 minutes. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started! This one rock pool is the only place we are looking and going to find all these species in today so let's get started. This is a seaweed called coral weed and like corals forms a calcium carbonate skeleton. This is a type of red bush seaweed and growing on top of it is either oyster fief which is actually not native to the UK or its native alternative, comfortable weed. I always like finding this seaweed, it's a really cool texture and looks really awesome. It's a Dictoyota type of species of seaweed. This seaweed has a rather lovely name and is called sea oak. And living on it is this sea snail, the common periwinkle. is a crustose coralline algae and these are some really cute baby semi balaness barnacles this is a very very tiny sponge and this is spirobranchus tubular of course one of my favorites it is the common hermit crab These marks on the surface of the rock are actually made by this animal which is feeding here, the common limpet. I have a video about how this is a world record breaking so check that out in the link above, it is really really awesome. This is fucus or bladder rack and you can tell it's bladder rack because it's got these bladders on. is a flat top shell with this really awesome and distinctive patterning. This is a chitin and on top of the chitin you can just see a tiny little worm starting to move off. This is any rock pooling trip complete without scuttling common shore crab. I just want to pause here a second, there are two species I'm noticing that I didn't notice in the field so didn't get to record videos of. One is a little brittle star that is chilling under that rock and the other is a different type of um, sea snail which is a thick top shell. These little swirls belong to a worm species called Spirorbis spirorbis, so there are tiny little worms living in there. This red seaweed is called Osmundia. This is some rather hectic footage of me trying to capture a butterfish as it swims away. So I hope you don't think this is cheating. I didn't manage to video that individual species, but I did see it. So I'm gonna put in some footage from another rock falling trip there. This is a saddle oyster growing on the bottom of a rock. see a fish moving look there I've just got him I this is a common blenny or a shanny I have much better footage of that so forgive me again but I'm inserting this from another rock falling trip this is a log worm cast so even though we can't see the worm we know it's there so I'm counting it a lovely beadlet anemone just as we come to the end and our last and final species was a find under this rock and was a very very gorgeous scale worm called that because you can literally see the scales on the worm Whew, that was 
was uh, frantic. Oh, it's not hard to find an absolute ton of life. Literally just within that one rock pool, there are so many species. What is tough is like seeing it and then walking away to try and find as many species in 10 minutes. Usually I'm like filming them for ages and just taking it in. And that's what you could do if you go rock pooling. You don't have to rush and find as many species as you can in 10 minutes. But I'm hoping this just shows you that you can find all that life really easily in such a tiny area of space. And this is here for you to explore. There's also absolutely a loads more life. We could have found shrimps, way more types of fish, way more different types of seaweeds and just ton, tons of life. There's absolutely tons of life on the rocky shore. So if you want to explore the rocky shore or you like rock pooling or like anything marine related, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I am videoing and recording as many marine species as I can here in the UK and telling you all the weird and wonderful facts about creatures you can find rock pooling and in the oceans and uh, yeah, it's not something you want to miss out on. So click that subscribe button. Building on that, I know this was a really rushed video where I didn't tell you much about each species, but I've been posting weekly videos for over two years. So there is tons of information on my channel about all the species that you found today. This is a video part of the Global Science Show. I will link to that below. It's a great day where scientists from literally around the globe post 10 minutes of science content throughout the day and it's absolutely incredible. Uh, thank you so much for letting me be part of it. So next time you go rock pooling, make sure to send me pictures of your amazing finds because I guarantee you, you are gonna find some incredible stuff. Let me put your ellies on. Bye everyone.